Did you see what she was wearing on today? Yeah, it's like the worst. <laughs> she was not matching your own. Right. Right. Did you do? When does she ever? <laughs> did you do Miss Johnson's homework? No, I didn't. Did what you do was homework? Oh no, man, I don't do that. Yeah, I'm sorry with you. Are you coming too? No, I'm gonna just stay here. Okay. Call us if you change your mind. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. See ya. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Where is that? Where is that? Where is So why did you choose to do this? In Drama Club, we discuss many situations that have occurred on college campuses and students should be heard with different things about sexual assault and Title IX and different things of that nature. We interviewed a few students around our campus and asked them a few questions, see what they knew. Yep, go ahead. Do you know what Title IX is? Sexual harassment, right? Yeah, that's really all I know about it. Yeah. Not much. Um, it's about sexual harassment, but I don't know really know the specifics. No. Are you aware of what Title IX is? No. I am not. No. Yes. Do you mind explaining? I what know, your definition? A with the whole Florida State sexual harassment thing. Title IX is an education amendment that was passed in 1972. It states, in part, that no person in the United States shall, on the basis of sex, be excluded in participation, be denied the benefits of, or be subjugated to discrimination under any education no program or activity receiving federal financial assistance. What's your classification as a student on this campus? Well, I'm a sophomore. Okay. And do you remember receiving this pamphlet no. during orientation? No. So that means you have not read it and aren't aware of the protocols if you are sexually assaulted? I'm not aware. Do students actually read this? The first day of orientation, I normally get a bag, a pen, and a whole bunch of papers inside of that bag. Nine times out of ten, I just take it out and use the bag. Have you ever seen this pamphlet at student orientation? No, I not So that means you've never read it. Uh, don't be like that. Come on. It'll be a lot of fun tonight. You don't even know me and you're already saying no? What is your definition of sexual harassment? I would just say unwanted contact. Like, that can refer from just being hugged like too intimately or just touched in a way that makes you uncomfortable. Because that's your personal space. You don't want everybody in your space. So. It has uh, any, sort of, any sort of unwanted interaction from either a sexual standpoint or some sort of any sort of questionable action that can be considered inappropriate in a sense, you know. Conduct that no one has consented to and is just like inappropriate that makes someone feel uncomfortable. Are you aware of the different cases that students have gone through on college campuses with sexual harassment? Not in particular, no. Wow, girl, you're killing the game. Hey, you mind if I steal it for a second? Hi, you're looking amazing. Where did you get Stop. this? Stop. Sorry? I mean, you're wearing fishnets. What do you want from me? Do you believe that depending on a student's clothing or actions, it gives them the right to be sexually harassed? Never. Do you think it's possible for a boy to be sexually harassed or abused by a woman? Yes. Sure. Hey. Huh? Hey, how's it going? So, um, did you do the math on uh, yeah, of course. Uh, but, uh, a guy can be sexually harassed simply because, you know, a lot of people tend to think that only guys can be sexually harassed, and you know what I mean? But when you think about it, like equality for all, you know what I mean? It goes, it's just as good for men as it is for women, you know? This On Us project is so that we can get something started, so that future generations can feel safe at schools, feel comfortable enough to talk to a teacher if they ever get sexually harassed. So let's get something started.